What we're announcing today is another $1.2 million investment in a third Amphibex icebreaker. Uh, these pieces of equipment have been fundamental in the active management of ice conditions and ice jamming north uh, on the North Red River area and they've made a huge difference and so this investment today takes it to another level and allows the corporation to more effectively ensure that ice jamming won't become an issue for flooding up here uh, next spring. We know that the ground levels are very saturated right now. We know that the snowpack in Manitoba is above the average. We know that the snowpack in jurisdictions that flows into Manitoba is also above average and we know that the rivers and lakes are uh, running at a high level right now. So if we were to uh, make an evaluation today, conditions are such that we have a very high potential for flooding this spring. There's still time to go. We'll have another forecast at the end of January and other forecasts as we come into the spring. But what we know is, is we've got very effective relationships with our municipalities and the local leadership that they offer. And over the years, every year we sat down and evaluated what has worked, what can we do better, and this year is no different. We're already preparing to do things better. So I'd like to thank the local councillors for all the work they've done, and we're very pleased to be a partner with them. Thanks very much.